Today I'd like to talk about the parable of the sower. So if we look in Luke 8, 4 through 15, I'm going to read that and then explain it a little bit. And when much people were gathered together and were come to him out of every city, he spake by a parable. A sower went out to sow his seed, and as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and it was trodden down, and the fowls of the air devoured it. And some fell upon a rock, and as soon as it was sprung up, it withered away because it lacked moisture. Some fell along among thorns, and that the thorns sprang up with it and choked it. And other fell on good ground and sprang up and bare fruit a hundredfold. And when he had said these things, he cried, He that had ears to hear, let him hear. And his disciples asked him, saying, What might this parable be? If we look throughout the Bible, Jesus speaks in a lot of parables. It's a good comparison of things. So if we look at the parable of the sower, what is the sower? If we look at the, we, the sower is God. And if we look at the seed, that is the word of God and the gospel. So a sower went out <clears throat> to sow his seed, and it says some fell by the wayside and was trodden down. That's when God's word goes out and someone hears it and nobody does anything with it. They just hear the word. They don't, they don't take it in. They don't listen. They just ignore it and continue to go on. If you look and it says, next, and some fell upon a rock, and as soon as it was sprung up, it was withered away. That's, if you look at it in today's world, uh, the gospel, some listen, and they hear it, and it goes in, them, but it, when it talks about it withered away because it lacked moisture. That's because they didn't, you can look at it like someone that didn't continue to go to church, they didn't read the Bible, they didn't pray, they just was hearers of the gospel, not doers. They just let it come in one ear and out the other. They didn't continue in God. Then if you look at the next one, it says, Some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprang up with it and choked it out. There's a lot of people that will take in the doctrine, they'll listen to it, they'll be glad in it, they'll pray, they'll listen to preaching, read the Bible, but then they get wrapped up in the world and the things of the world will choke out the gospel. Like, an example is someone listens to good Christian music and they're worshiping Jesus, but then as soon as they go, go to work, <clears throat> excuse me, someone, uh, something will corrupt it. They'll, they'll hear somebody cussing and they'll enjoy it. I mean, not enjoy it, but they'll get into it and they'll start talking with them and they'll forget about it and they'll let things of the world choke out uh, the gospel. And then in the end, it talks about it fell on good ground and sprang up and bare fruit. When we take in the gospel and we settle in our heart and we put it on our heart, mind, and soul, we pray, we go to church, we listen to the gospel because the gospel comes by hearing, as it says in the Bible. Then we produce good fruit. We can be a lot to those in the world that might not know God and might not ever read the Bible. You may be the only Bible that someone reads. So when the word comes in and it springs up and bears fruit, that produces other fruit. So if you're good and righteous through Jesus, because there's none righteous, anything we do is filthy rags, unless God is in us and doing the work, which I always pray that God empties me in myself and fills me with him so others may see him through me because greater is he that is in me than in this world so i want to be the bearer of good fruit i want to take god's word and i want to bear it in my heart mind and soul for the world to see i want to produce other good fruit so when you're when you're living for god and doing at his will and others see it it produces off good but there is a lot of people that's not going to like it because the bible says you will be hated but know that he was he jesus was hated before we were so we can't let that discourage us. We just got to continue in the faith. Let it grow in us so we can be a lot to the world. And that's what he's talking about here that fell on the good ground. You got to continue instant in prayer. So never cease praying. You got to continue going to church, listening, worshiping, fellowshipping with righteous people, and just living a godly life. And that can help you grow and bear more fruit and to have others come to know Jesus. <clears throat> And then it says, Unto you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God, but to others in parables, that seeing they may not see, and hearing they may not understand. So when you're living for God, and you're understanding, and you're praying, 
God helps opens up your eyes and helps you understand the Bible. You can see it more clearly rather than somebody that's not that hasn't received the word and it's not growing in them like the ones that it choked up. They're, God's not revealing it to them because they're not studying. Study to show thyself approved is what the Bible tells us. So if you're not staying instant in the Bible and staying in church and around godly people, then you're not ever going to grow. You're going to be like the ones where the seed fell off, got choked up, or the fowls came and and uh, devoured it up. I hope this was a blessing to you. I hope you learned a little bit about the sower in this message. God bless you.